Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. No, oh, hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. Any questions? Why are you such a nerd? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Emmett! Uh, coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! Okay. Pressuring me to be something I'm not! Do that. Electrical current. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! It's my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father. I'm doing exactly what you said to do. This thing, probably? You no, know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Ah! I thought you were a scientist. Damn it! Ah, what the, the? Okay. Pay attention to the Emmett's word as he argues with his father. Emmett's instructions must be followed in the order you're they're given. Give the generation a give a give the generator a crank. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Shock? Flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legal Flame. gobbledygook, father. <laughs> it's my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes. Spark. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Fed! I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure? What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! Burning! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. What the fuck does that mean? Maybe I should just get struck by light. No! Would that make you happy? Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Emmett! <laughs> You're going to find out. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, flame. father. are nothing but overblown bags of gas! Bags of gas! Well, 
who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lot. Fire! You're going to find out. <laughs> Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Eating! Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Hot! Ah, halfway there. Edmund! Keep up the good work. This may come as a shock to you, Papa. Oh, a shock! wants to be a lawyer. Stop getting so hot under the collar. Hot! You keep bellowing like that. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Release? I honor your wishes. You treat me like common bacteria. Bacteria. Come, come. What do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? Fire. Let's start. Sunday. What use is a microorganism for law? That? I don't know. Almost there. Imminent. Uh, coming, father. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. This isn't food for thought, Pop. Food? Gruel. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? I know it's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. I'm doing what you said is a gas. That's another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? That? Oh, maybe your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Burning? Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Feed? By Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Rotate. Must you always scatter condescension my way? I don't know what that means. Are you always bellowing at me? What the fuck does that mean? How many times do I have to prove myself to you before? I'm trying to, but it's hard. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm. Pressure. I'm not being such a crank. Crank. If you like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Fire. Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to your rotation? Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There, I said it. Hot. You have a release. No! If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Oh. Maybe your burning passion, father, but it is not. Come on. You see, this is eating me up inside. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Shock? I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Spark? No! It was fire! You know who invented fire, Pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. Stop being such a crank. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. And one great thing ever generated by a lawyer. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh. What?
Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can... I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for D.C. leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the Patent Office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett... You're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start. supposed to be Duck! they're moving him to another facility for safekeeping oh I better go get a quote from the police chief paddy wagon intercepted suspect slain and they're still after him but how am I gonna rescue him now bike there's no way Edna's bike is going to be fast enough to catch up with that paddy wagon. Or is there? Uh, turbo boosters. Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. I'm coming, Doc. Get you out of here. What's that? I said you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here and we'll talk later. Uh. Shut tight. Okay, I need a... Wait, the toolbox. Can I... Stop! 
Smashy, smashy! No good, the window shut. Okay, no, or no smashy, smashy. Don't worry, Doc, I'll get you out. Be careful, buddy. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protection of pertinence. What? A reach extender. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. I'll be back. I'll wait right here. Yeah, like you could go anywhere. Okay. How do I get that shit out of my face? Not sure what that. Uh. Not sure what that. They're locked. I know. <laughs> I know that. Oh, wait. I have an idea. In the hubcap, but that would do any good. Tenna? Okay. Let's get hints. Use the antenna to snag the keys, but be careful. You'll never get those keys while kids focus on the road. I stock to set up a distraction before using the antenna with the keys. Can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's probably up front. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, hey, driver. You're driving too fast. Watch how you take those. I object to your tone of voice, and I find this seat distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me. You! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. What a bitch. All right. Of a bitch. Get the gun. How you doing, Doc? Hey, get in there. Uh. So what do we do now? I was hoping you knew! Me! Why couldn't your younger self have built us a hoverboard? They won't be invented for another 84 years! That, the throttle! Why? Oh!
back! Are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, I, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Oh, holy shit! Woo! Ah! Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Back to you, the game. To be continued, get Tannen. Oh my god, this game is absolutely amazing. I can't believe it took me this long just to play it. And I'm a big Back to the Future fan. I can't believe that shit. Well, anyways, guys, that is episode one, or chapter one of Back to the Future, the game by Toto. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If there's anything at the end of this, like maybe maybe some decisions or I don't know, whatever the heck uh, will happen at the end, I'll make sure to add it. So, if, But if this is where um, it ends, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a great game so far. And I can't wait for episode two, even though the the thing is already over. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I'll talk to you guys in chapter two, where we're going to get Tannin. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.